yeah, I, we can definitely uh, assume that there are uh, others. Uh, I can't put a number on it, but I mean, I know from my own personal experience, for example, a few years ago, uh, uh, I can count at least four different uh, MPs who on four different occasions were lobbied by the Chinese embassy specifically to ask me to stop talking about human rights in China and Hong Kong. Now, those MPs, to their credit, uh, merely alerted me to the fact that they'd been lobbied. They didn't uh, try to silence me. Um, but this activity has been going on for some time, and I'm quite sure Christine Lee is, uh, is not the only uh, person. And we know of uh, MPs who've, uh, who've had threats, who've had intimidation. So um, I'm sure there will be more uh, to come from MI5. And what do you think are the Chinese Communist Party's goals here? What are they trying to achieve by getting closer to the heart of power here in the UK? I think they're probably trying to achieve two things. Uh, one is to uh, exert, in their eyes, positive influence, influence to uh, secure um, commercial deals, particularly deals in critical infrastructure uh, and, to, and to influence policy. But I think uh, I also know, as I say, from my own experience, uh, that they are also very eager to silence uh, or try to silence uh, critics. Um, I mean, I've had letters uh, to my home address. Uh, my mother, who lives in a different part of the country, has received uh, threatening letters asking her to tell me to shut up. Um, my neighbours have received letters asking them to monitor me in a suburb of London. The kind of things that go on in China with dissidents, but you wouldn't have thought they'd uh, uh, believed uh, that they, these things would work in, in London. So I think clearly they are trying to both influence policy, but also um, try to intimidate critics into silence.